What's up, folks? Brandon Smith, brand new again, refinishing, coming to you on a Friday. It's still hot outside, has not cooled down at all. I hope you guys are staying cool, staying hydrated, um, all that good stuff. Don't need anybody falling out, but you know what day it is. If you've been with me for a while, you know what day it is. Today is paint day. So that means yesterday was prime day, today is paint day. And you guys know how I like to roll when it comes to paint day. The very first thing I do when I like to come out to the shop is I gotta scratch test everything. Because I gotta make sure if it's gonna fail, it's gonna fail on my watch. I don't wanna fail in, in your kitchen. That would be horrible, okay? So we try to prevent that. Uh, back when I used to build stuff and refinish stuff and take broken, busted furniture and rebuild it, I would stand on it. Yes, I took your furniture, I got up on top of it, and I jumped up and down. I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to break. Because what good would it, would it do if you're paying to have something done, redone right, and get it back to you and then it fails? It's not the way we roll. So, we're going to perform a scratch test on all these doors that are in front of me right here. I've got my arsenal, my weapons of choice. Um, keep in mind, these are my current client's doors. Okay, this is not some scrap wood that I pulled out from the back of put primer on. These are her actual doors. This is what's going in her kitchen. And I'm going to attempt to scratch the crap out of it right now. Okay, so the first one that we're going to take, we're going to take Old Faithful, the wire brush. If you need to scratch or scrape or dig some crap off of something, this is what you're going to use, okay? You can dig stuff out of grout. You can, you can scrape damn near anything off with a wire brush, okay? Except for my primer. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the first door right here and we're gonna scratch it up real good. Then I'm gonna give you guys a close up, let you see it. I know I've got some, uh, some people who have already seen my scratch testing, but I know I've also got some new followers. So I just wanna educate you guys on how durable the products are that we use. So, we're gonna scratch it up real good. That is a wire brush, steel wire. It's not that nylon. All right, bam, bam, bam. Yeah, it looks good from way back here, right? Let me get a close up for you. All right, so wire brush scratch test. As you can see, there are some marks on there, but this is a wire brush, okay? Take this wire brush to the side of your car that's outside in your driveway or in your garage right now, and let me know if it looks as good as this. I bet you that I already know the answer. All right, so the next one that we're gonna do, we're gonna go over here to the scraper. Everybody knows that's ever tried to get some nasty, stuck-on crap that's hard-dried, whatever, whether it be paint, whatever, you're going to use something like this. It's a steel scraper. You're going to dig it in. You're going to try to scrape whatever it is off of whatever you're trying to get off of, right? So now I'm going to do the same thing with my client's door right now, okay? So I'm scraping. Look at the bend on that scraper. I'm digging into it. I'm trying to get it off. I want it off of there. Bam. Looks good from back here, right? Close up. So, here we are. That is a metal paint scraper. There are some scrapes. Still not through the primer. I'm not down to the original uh, substrate. I'm not down to the wood. That's how good this primer holds up. That's how good our prepping is. Because to do a good job, you gotta prep well. Let's do our next one now. The next one is going to be a flathead screwdriver. Granted, it's not really the tool that you normally use to scrape something off of something, but we've all been without a scraping tool, and I'm pretty sure we've all used a flathead to scrape something off of something at one point in time. If you haven't, you're lying. So, scratch test, flathead screwdriver, door number three. My client's doors, I'm sure she's thrilled right now. Sorry, Kim. But we're gonna scratch the crap out of this one right now with the screwdriver. All right, bam. Once again, looks good from back here, right? Close up. All right, here we go. Flathead screwdriver. Primer still on there. That was actually where I got some, my finger drug through the primer when it was wet. Mistakes happen, it's part of it, you know? I'm not perfect, but we're gonna fix it. It'll be covered up with the paint. But anyway, look at that finish. That's a flathead screwdriver dug in at an angle in that door. Do that to the side of your vehicle and let me know if it looks this good still. You're probably down to the metal on the side of your car by now. 
And the last one that we're going to do. We're going to do the orbital sander, the random orbital. And we're going to do it with 120 grit sandpaper on the bottom, okay? I'm going to take this last door. It's nice. We're going to hit it with the sander. Let me turn on my dust collection real quick. Here we go. Random orbital sander. Barely started to get through it right there. Barely. And that's after grinding that 120 grit sandpaper from that random orbital sander down into this door. Once again, try to, let me rephrase that. Don't try to, but imagine what would happen if you took that random orbital with 120 grit sandpaper to the side of your vehicle. How, do you, how well do you think that would look? Probably not very good, right? Probably look a lot worse than that. So, with that being said, I hope this has educated some of my new followers and some of my old followers who have might wanted to see me scratch the crap out of some of my stuff with additional tools. Um, I hope that this uh, provided you with a little bit more information on the durability of what we use on your kitchen cabinets. We take, uh, we take the sustainability of everything very seriously. Uh, after all, if it wasn't going to hold up, I would not be charging you to do this to your kitchen cabinets. Uh, what, we, what we do is tried and true, and it's guaranteed to work. It's guaranteed to hold up. Um, so, with that being said, don't forget, $50 referrals. Make sure you guys are sharing. Share this post right now. Let people know. We're not just out here painting cabinets. We're putting stuff on cabinets that's guaranteed to stay on your cabinets. All right? I appreciate you guys' time. And I'll catch you on Tuesday for install. Stay cool.